Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial by Geek Together. Today I'll be showing you guys how to move your Nextcloud installations data directory onto a different location. For example, um, if you don't want your Nextcloud users data directory to be in the Nextcloud installation path, you can change that to a different path or for some of you who want to maybe have everything on an external share such as nfs or ftp um, you can do that as well um, but today for this video i'm just going to show you guys how to use the same server for next cloud but you're just going to move your um, data directory to a different location the instructions are going to be the same for an external share but you're just going to have to mount that external share and follow through this video. Okay, without wasting much time, the first thing we want to do is um, make sure we know where our Nextcloud installation is located. In my case, my Nextcloud installation is located in the var www.cloud.geektogether.com. I'm also going to show you that we have a working Nextcloud installation here with two users. As you can see, I have some um, demo files or random files I've created in there. If we go into the users, we have another user called test user. So I'm going to log out and I'll log in as test user. And as you can see, test user also has um, some dummy files I've added in here. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to log out. I will head back over to the terminal. And I'll clear my terminal so we can start um, with the process of moving our data directory. Oh, one thing, um, so I'm just going to go in here. If I CD into the data directory, you can see this is where we currently have all of our files. Um, we have um, our external, we have our index.html, we have our user, NC admin, and test user. They're all in here, okay? And that's in the var www, my next cloud installation name dash data, okay? So in order for us to get the process started, the first thing we need to do is put our next cloud installation in maintenance mode. Um, in order for us to do this, we're going to run the command sudo dash u um, ww data, which is our next cloud uh, web user, and then PHP followed by the path of our next cloud installation. We're calling the OCC script, and then we are telling OCC to turn on the maintenance mode. So once you run that command, you should see um, a message that says the maintenance mode has been enabled. If we head back over to the browser and refresh this page, you can also see that we have maintenance mode enabled. Okay. Um, if you are paranoid like I am, you can also stop apache so we're going to run the command system ctl stop apache 2 okay um once you have that done the next thing we're going to do is create the path to our new data directory so we're going to create our new data directory in um uh, the directory secure slash data okay so we can see in here, we have that secure we just created. And if you look in there, we have a folder named data. So if I CD in there for now, that's empty. Okay. So I'm going to clear my screen. For you, that may be different. You may want to serve it or save your data on a different directory. You can just follow those commands and create the different directory. If you are using an NFS share or FTP share externally, you will normally skip this space or this step because I'm sure you already have created your share and mounted it to your Ubuntu machine. 
so we're just gonna you're just gonna go to this next step which is copying your current data files into the new directory we just created so as you can see with this command i'm copying everything in the data directory to the new directory we created which is secure dash data or slash data if you're using an external share once again you're going to replace this with the path to your external share so i'm going to hit enter and we can verify that everything was copied by using the ls command if you see we have everything in there we can also ls our data directory to compare you can see everything was moved okay so now that we have that taken care of so we're going to make the, the owner of that directory www-data um, so we're going to give ownership permissions to our new nextcloud data directory to the user and group www-data so you're just going to run this command press enter and that's going to take care of everything to verify you can run the command ls a followed by that the directory um, sorry um, ls l and that's going to show you the permissions for everything in that directory um, if we do secure we can see that this is owned by www-data so once we have that verified now we need to make a change in our config.php file to tell it that we now have a new data directory for nextcloud so in my case i'm going into my nextcloud installation um, path and then you're going to change to config and you want to open config.php so once you open this file somewhere in here you're going to see um this option for your data directory so we're going to replace it or we're going to replace this with the path of our new data directory which is secure slash data once again if you were mounting an external share for this you're going to also have that on here okay and then you want to save that and now the next very important thing we need to do is get into my sql um, you have to log in as root user and you're going to back up your database um, in my case i'm already logged in as the youth user um, so the command is is um, easy for me so i'm just going to run my sql dump which is the command that you can use to back up a database for my sql or mariadb um, database server and we want to dump the next cloud database to a file that we want to call dump.sql. So once we run that command, if you ls, now we have our backup per se of our next cloud database. So if I run the cat command, you can see that's everything we have um, in our next cloud database as of now. Yours may take longer if this is uh, if you have a large um, Nextcloud instance that you've been using for a while. I just built this up real quick to um, show you guys how to do this. But either way, be patient and let the dump complete. And once that's complete, now we're going to log in into my SQL. The first thing we want to do is change or enter our Nextcloud database. So we're going to use the my SQL use command. So we're gonna type the command use next cloud. And now you can see we were able to change into our next cloud database. And then we're gonna run the actual command to update our next cloud's data directory from the old directory to the new directory. So we'll run the command update oc underscore storages set id. And then here, we are replacing the old directory var.www um, slash cloud.geektogether.com slash data we're replacing that 
with our new directory, which is secure slash data. Okay. Once you do that, you run the command. As you can see, as of right now, I only have one row and one change was made for me at this point. Um, this is because this is a fairly new install of Nextcloud because I did this install just for this video. Yours may take longer and you may have more updates affected by this command. So once you have that done, we're going to type the exit command to exit from our Nextcloud database and my SQL. And then the next thing we're going to do is turn off the maintenance mode because at this point we're done. We want to test and make sure that everything is working correctly. So we're going to run the command um, maintenance mode turn off. It's kind of the same command we ran at the beginning to turn on maintenance mode but in this case we're going to turn it back off um, since we're complete with making our changes and once that's done we want to restart apache 2 and php and once that's complete we're going to clear our command line now we have to head back over to the browser and we're going to check to make sure that everything is working as expected. So once we have that open, we're going to log in as our NC admin user. And as you can see, once we log in, everything was successfully moved over. Okay. We still have our new folder there. Um, we have all the files we had in the beginning before we initiated the process. So I'm going to log out and I'll try to log in again as the test user. And also you can see we don't get any warnings or errors. So everything was successfully moved over. Okay. So this is the end of the process, but we still have two things to do okay i would advise you save this backup of your mysql um, dump just because if you start receiving any errors you can always revert back to your old settings and also another thing um, you can do is we still have this old um, data directory here inside of our next cloud installation folder or directory what you can do is you can completely remove this directory or you can back it up once again i'll advise you back up the directory for a couple of days or maybe weeks make sure everything is working correctly before you completely remove it so in my case this is a test um this is a test system so i really don't care and i really want us to make sure that it's working correctly so i'm gonna delete that directory you can move it or rename it just to make sure that um your, your next cloud is actually using the new directory before um you delete everything else another way um we can confirm is we can change our directory back to the secure slash data and we can cd for example into the text users uh, the test users directory and you can see um, in the files directory they have three files in here which are the same three files they have on here so we can try deleting these files and see what's going to happen the files were successfully deleted so they're in the trash as of now if we head back to the command line and ls you can see the files have disappeared which means our next cloud is currently using our new directory. So if we cd into that user's trash bin, you can see um, in the files option, those three files are in there. So once again, if we head back to the browser and delete them permanently, this should be empty. So this brings us to the end of this video, um, showing you how to be able to um, change your Nextcloud installations data directory. Um, once again, 
I would advise that before you do this, you make sure you properly back up your data directory so you're not losing any data. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this um, configuration or setup, you can always leave it down in the comment section below or you can head over to the Geek Together Hub and post a new topic and we will be very pleased to help you. So thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.